hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn about excel program how to work in ms excel to ms to start in this program so first of all we have to create one excel file blank file so i have already created here i can rename it tutorial requesting you to please like comment and share my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming video so let's open this excel file to open this just right click and click on this open okay so it will open this excel will be open okay close it again again if i want to open it just uh, second option is simply left double click double click on this icon so it's open now so this is the welcome screen of excel so there are so many tabs and there are so many tools given in this excel so we have to learn one by one of each tools so let's start now first of all this called this is called tabs see once you are clicking there are so many tools inside the each tabs for example this is home tabs insert tabs page layout formulas data tabs review views so click on the home tab and this is called panels this is called panels in the panel there are so many tools are there this is called panels Okay, these are called panels. So let me start now and explain you once again and again one by one. So this is called menu bar. This is called menu bar. These are called tabs. These are called tabs. Tabs. And all these are called panels. This is called help menu. This video is going to be a little bit lengthy because I have to explain in detail one by one in each tabs, each uh, toolbars, and I have to prepare one sample worksheet. Then you can learn a lot of from this sheet, and you can work in this Excel. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to watch this full video so you can learn a lot from this 
okay so let's continue these are called they are vertical box and horizontal box so this vertical is called box vertical column these are and this is called vertical column or simply you can say this column horizontal box is called row rows okay and this is the sheet this is the sheets this is sheet This is called vertical scroll bar. This is called vertical scroll bar. Vertical scroll bar. And this is called horizontal scroll bar. This is some basic windows tools of this excel program so i i hope you guys understand these tools so let's start how to work in the excel i am using all this so first of all i have to enter simply data and this is called cell it is vertical column and horizontal rows is coinciding this coincide is called cell okay so this is called cell so simply i have to enter the data simply in the cell is in if you want to increase and decrease the size of this column just simply click on this plus icon and just drag it so See, you can drag it, you can write it here description, description, physics, chemistry, Merge these three cell together. So this is you can write it here marks. Okay, you can change here student name, student name, total marks, total marks. See? Now, if you want to merge these two cell, just simply select this two click on this merge okay select and merge select then merge and center okay now type the serial number one two three if you type one by one it will take time to so simply select this two click on this plus button plus icon and drag it drag down see serial number is showing you can drag it okay write the student name Ramu Rajesh Leo Leo Rajesh
see easy See, I already write the student name here, then physics, the marks obtained in the subject, I have to write it here, for example, 60, 30, and then 65, 65, I simply copy this, or you can write another 60, 44, then here for 60, 59, type or copy this all these copy and paste in all the cell okay just to reduce the time I just copy these marks and paste in all the cell okay now we are going to add all these marks in this total mark cell so just simply click on this total mark cell and to add to apply the addition formula just simply click on this cell and type equal to click on this then plus then click on this chemistry marks then plus then click on this math marks enter you can see already formula is applied if you want to copy if you want to apply in these all these all rows in the same formula just copy to copy this just simply click on this cell you can copy from here also and paste down simply select all these cells and paste it okay to paste just right click and paste okay and one more option is there the shortcut I am telling you just click on this cell shortcut of copy is control plus C and copy it and select this shell and paste control plus V okay. you can see this data is already paste so I have already input the data and I just want to arrange this data and make some good looks for this table so let's start now simply select all these you can select from your mouse also like this otherwise you have to click anywhere inside this data click and press control a you can select this data only so i am selecting control a i am going here in the font in the bond i am selecting your bottom border if you click on this arrow you can get a lot of border here a lot of options and click on all border see this border is applied already and you want to decrease the, if you want to decrease this column size just simply click and drag okay again select all these or simply click anywhere in this cell press ctrl a you can select and i want to align this font so I, I have to go in alignment and click on the center alignment so you can see this already aligned in the center and, I, and, and this is the border line so for border line it should be little bit bold so I am selecting this border and I click simply on here and bold okay and the shortcut of bold is again I am showing you I am selecting this select it control B if you want to increase the font size just simply select this so after selecting you can increase 
also decrease font here also okay simply click on the tool and uh, another option to increase or decrease the font is if you see the right side the small and big text is given you can increase or decrease simply select if you want to increase just click on this okay if you want to decrease this font just click on this a small text okay and it's showing here how, what is the size of this font so it's showing here okay now i want to fill this color of this box or i want to make at the center of this i want to align this font in the center of this shell to simply select go to this alignment click on your middle alignment okay. this font is already aligned and I want to fill the color in this shell to simply click simply select this all shell and go to this fill color click on this drop down arrow and you can select any of any color of this theme okay this table so you can select any one I'm selecting this color okay now I want to give the thick border around this I, I want to give thick border around perimeter of this table so simply select or click anywhere inside this press ctrl a I can go to this border click on this thick border this size also just simply click here and drag it if you, and uh, if you want to increase this rows row size simply select and drag down so you can increase it now this row height is increasing one more option is there if you want to increase this row rows height simply click all these rows and go to this format format shell click on this format set and click on this row height and you can simply put the, give the height as a 12 so you can see this height already decreased and uh, one more option if you want to change this font of this upper border simply select this select this all cell go to this font drop down and make you can change if i want to i'm interested to give this as a times roman simply type t times roman decrease the size it's 12 now you can see if you want to change the another color simply select you can change the color from here okay. you can see the color is changed if you want to decrease and increase the shell column width simply click and drag this for your requirement okay see this I am decreasing this so this font is hiding so I want to show this font simply click on this shell and, and click on this wrap text okay. it's going to be wrapped I want to decrease this column width Table is ready now. Okay, guys, and Excel is providing the by default three sheets. If you want to delete this sheet, simply click the right click and delete it. And if you want to add more sheets, whatever you want, you can add a lot of sheets as per your requirement just simply click here new 
sheets three you can increase and decrease you can add or delete whatever you want okay so guys this is the simple work in excel and there are so many options cut copies format cell and as in this is the font percentage comma wrap text merge center and there are so many insert command insert cell delete format fill there are so many and in the if you if you go to this insert tab you can find a lot of option pictures shapes word arts header footer there are so many options so i have to explain all these options in my next tutorial so don't forget to watch my next tutorials and don't forget to subscribe my channel and please like share and comment my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the notification of my upcoming video so guys i am going to stop this tutorials here and uh, please be prepared and don't forget to watch my next tutorial to get the another option just to learn the another option for the excel and uh, you, you have to learn a lot of things in your in my next tutorial i, am, I have to explain a lot of things in the next tutorial so don't forget to watch my next tutorial so thank you thank you for watching my channel thank you bye bye